Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is part two of my series where I upgrade to a NAS. In this part I will be doing the cleaning of the NAS, so that will consist of tearing the NAS down, then cleaning it, and then reassembling it. But that's enough talking in the intro, so let's just get into the video. I have no intentions of making a tear down of this, but I'm definitely going to tear it down to clean it, because, well, it's a NAS, so it's expected just to be left in one place and like constantly turned on. But yeah, it is a... Where's the, where's the dusty bits? Like that. It is quite dusty, so I'm going to go give it a good hoover out. So I've decided that in order to help me better clean it, I'm going to remove the removable part of this, which is held in by a screw there, a screw there, and a screw down there. And then I'm going to clean that by like brushing it out with uh, fine paint brushes or something. But, but as for the plastic parts that are all plastic, mine is a little rubber grommet bits there, as they are all plastic, they will not be damaged by water. I'm just simply going to go and wash all of these off with water. And then I'll be back once I've done that. And then I'll move on to the cleaning of this. So now these bits are drying, the drive bays and the front cover, along with the front cover's little rubber bits and screws. Uh, I washed the rubber bits, but not the screws, because the rubber bits were really dusty. Uh, but while all of this is drying, I can move on to actually cleaning the NAS itself, which I'm not going to wash with water. I turned it on to make sure the power works, and it works fine. Uh, there's just one problem. I don't know how to turn it off, and I don't... It's beeping at me. I figured out how to turn it off, so that's good. Now I'm just going to dismantle it and uh, clean it. Yep, this is, I'm kind of pleased that I definitely took this off because it does need a clean. I have just realized that this construction is entirely plastic. So this is going to go and get the, uh, the shower treatment. In case you wondered what I'm doing, I'm giving it a full teardown and clean, and then I'll put it back together. I know it may be not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now I'm going to go and wash it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to go give it a wipe down with a dry paintbrush. Update. I have lost my screwdriver. I'm looking for one of my small Phillips screwdrivers and I've no idea where it went, where it is. Disassembly and reassembly is currently paused. And this is the reason why I give stuff a full teardown, especially secondhand electronics, because as you can see there is just dust everywhere and also in the process of me disassembling it i've also figured out how you upgrade the ram what's currently in here is two gigabytes of ddr3 it can support up to eight gigabytes of ram and uh yeah it just really needs a clean i'm also sort of running out of places to put screws i have put this cage back together and reattached the hard drive pcb to it Here's a little USB and eSATA interface PCB which I haven't yet put back on because I'm still working on these bits. They're clean, finished, ready to go back together once I've done this. Okay, everything's going missing right now. My screwdriver, lost that, not this one, that small one I was looking for. My small brush I was looking for, I've lost that. And now the brush attachment for the hoover, I've lost that. Where is everything going? This room or this box is like a black hole in, oh, I found the brush. That didn't quite make it through the wormhole, but the smaller brush, smaller paintbrush and the screwdriver, they're in a parallel universe somewhere doing what they want. I'm 
going to go and wash this as well. I've removed everything that could uh, potentially get damaged from it, such as the metal and these little LED uh, plastic bits. So yeah, I'm just going to go and wash this the way I've done with every other plastic piece. All that's left to do now is take the fans off, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. There's that done. So I'm going to go and wash these as these are plastic. I'm not going to wash the fans, but I'll go and clean those outside because they are dusty. And this bit's quite dusty, but as this is metal, I'll just uh, dust it outside along with the fans. There's the Synology DS415 Plus completely tore down. I mean, some bits I have put back together, such as the cage, and I've put the uh, shielding back on the uh, rear of the motherboard, but I've essentially completely teared it down, cleaned it, and I'm going to be putting it back together once I've finished cleaning, and once the components that I have washed have thoroughly dried, which will probably be sometime tomorrow. I've been and cleaned both of the fans. Here is what they look like after they've been cleaned, so, they, they don't look new new, but they, they're definitely clean. So now all I need to do is wait for the fan grill bits to dry properly and then I'll screw them back in place. It uses those fans. I think they are identical. Yep, they are. So yeah, they're the fans that are used. I don't know if they're good fans, I don't know if they're bad fans. But yeah, these are the fans once they've been cleaned. In case any of you are wondering, this is the NAS that's been disassembled. All of these components you can see here are all plastic, except for these which are rubber, and except the screws which are over there, and excluding these bits on the end. But the drive bays, these catch things, that bit, that bit, that bit, the rubber bits, the fan grills. I have washed all of these with water and now I'm just waiting for them to dry. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put it back together today. I'm going to let it like evaporate overnight and put it together in the morning. And then over here is like the metal cage, which I haven't washed because it's metal and I don't want it going rusty. And the PCBs, the like hard drive connection PCB there. The USB and eSATA port there and the motherboard here. I haven't washed these because, well, they're electronics. While you can wash them, and I have successfully washed PCBs in the past, but I did that as an experiment to see if they would still work. But don't worry, I haven't washed any of these components. There is no way I would wash any of these, especially the PCBs. But yeah, this is the NAS. What model is it? Uh, where is it? So this is the Synology DS415 Plus NAS, which is a 4-bay NAS, completely tore down near enough. I mean, if I wanted to completely tear it down, I could take all of these little rows off and uh, like separate everything. But here are all of the parts and what it looks like. So, well, what it looks like once disassembled. And then there's all of these screws over here. And I think I know where they all go, but if I don't, luckily I did record the entire disassembly process. So hopefully that can help me if I struggle to figure out where the screws go. But yeah, this is the NAS tore down to its individual components near enough. Welcome back. It is the following day and everything has dried and now I'm going to go and put it back together. What I did do off camera is I went and cleaned up the fans quite a bit more because they were still quite dusty and now they literally look like they're brand new. But yeah, everything's dried and now I'm just going to assemble it all back together starting off with the fans. I don't believe it. 
I haven't put the button or LEDs back in which means I need to dismantle it all to put these back in and then reassemble it all. I'm not going to record that because it will take ages so I'll just jump cut you to when I've put these back in. I've taken it apart again and now I'm going to put these uh, the button and the LED lights in which is what I missed before. So this goes in, no nope, that bit goes over, this is a lot more fiddly than what I would have thought. There we go. Yep, that's it in. And now there's these LED lights, so it will be that way they go in, like that. And they just simply sit in place like that. Now I can go about putting everything back in. And looking back, I'm pleased I did take it apart again, because I noticed I actually missed a step, uh, but this time I won't. Which is why I went and got the electrical tape, because I need to tape this foil back onto the case so it's grounded, because it's not sticky anymore, so I need to tape it in place. <laughs> And there's the final screw that's been put in. Now all I need to do is put the housing on. So I've given this NAS a complete teardown and now it's effectively as clean as it was new. If you look at the back, now there's no dust on the fans or anywhere. You look in there, there's no dust, no dust, no dust. It's just clean, nice and clean. I know it has this front cover, but I don't think I'm going to use it because if I do, then it could uh, hinder airflow. Because if I put it on, the airflow will need to go around the sides, whereas if I leave it off, the fans will pull air directly through the drives, whereas with this, they can't pull it through. And I don't need to worry about the drives falling out because these little clips hold the drives in. Right, all the clips are aligned, so it should be a case of pushing it forwards. Like that. And now I need to put the remaining two screws in. I know I took three screws out when I disassembled it, but earlier I put that screw in, which was the third one from earlier. Now I'm just putting the case screws back in. So here is the cleaned Synology DS415 Plus NAS. And now I'll go and get the drive bays and put those in. Here are the drive bays which simply just go in like, not that way, that just simply go in like that. And then when they're clicked into place, they are clicked into place. So here by the dots we've got bay one, which is that one, bay two bay 3 and bay 4. So here I've just got the NAS plugged in, as you can see we've got the light on the power brick and as you can see it is plugged in. I am aware it's not connected to any network yet but I'm just wanting to make sure it still turns on after completely disassembling it and cleaning it and putting it back together so here we go. Yep, it turns on and the fans are on and spinning. If Beeping at me, I'm guessing that's part of its startup thing. Right, we've now got a status indicator and disc one. So now I know that it works, I'm going to go and set it up where I plan on having it. But if you want to see the setup of the NAS, then you will need to wait until part three, which is the next part in this video series. So that's going to be it for this video. That was a teardown, cleaning, and reassembly. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I shall speak to you in the next video.